Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today we are going to continue with our series and now we will try to change, uh, modify the video track aspect ratio using of course uh, the get capabilities and uh, in order to do that we need to modify our front end here and add a new button on the uh, this uh, frame rate uh, modifications so uh, let's go to our code and uh, in service here we need to add a new uh, method here for mod the logic for modifying uh, the aspect uh, ratio so we come here and now uh, at the comment modify uh, the video track aspect ratio and then our method name modify uh, video track aspect ratio that one and then now aspect ratio here we are going to pass it as an argument of type number and of course we should return a boolean return a boolean so here is what we get and uh, as you know here we need to work with the stream so we have to clear our stream here and then here we get a stream after clicking on this uh, request permissions here which pop up a window here with accept or deny permissions to uh, the camera camera and microphones once we get that one that's the one there and so <coughs> where, where was i so here is that and we get uh, that stream here so now we need to come back now and set check if the stream is set of course yeah if the stream is set then what we do here is as before const video track we get the video track from the stream get video track here is that and then we need to get uh, the webcam so we get that one now now we need to get uh, the capabilities so that one is from video track get capabilities here is that then now uh, we need to calculate uh, for the logic as you know once we get uh, the aspect ratio we need to find uh, the value potential value for the width so uh, I will say calculate the width and the height based on the aspect ratio and constraints that's what and here now we need to find the ideal width for our aspect uh, ratio so capabilities here with ideal uh, with mm, then okay let's take uh, what is there then the minimum here we take the minimum and uh, here is with okay 640 and then now we go to const 
ideal height and then it is equal we are going to take a mat round because it's just going to be a fractions here so we take width divided by aspect ratio So if the min is not available, then we are going to take this one as default. So that is it. And then now we can form our constraints. Video apply constraints. Inside apply constraints here, we are going to set the width equal to ideal ideal width and you can see here uh, let's see we cut this put it inside the brace so this one is ideal term here that just mean like if the value that we have here is not is not okay then we give uh, the possibility to uh, the browser to take uh, the nearest value to give a closest value that will fit with uh, the width that we want to show on the browser. So this is give more flexibility, but if you don't want to uh, the browser to do that, we can use exact. Right, so we make it more flexible for the browser to give us the closest value for the width if the one that uh, you have given is not okay. And same things go here with the height. Right, ideal height. So once that one is done here, we need to return true. We return true and here we return uh, false. We return false. Yeah, uh, that is uh, that with our service, uh, which is now almost uh, ready, right? So once our service is ready, now we need to come uh, to our app components and on top here because we need to get a new value. Here we are going to declare a new attribute that we call a video aspect ratio. And then it will be of type number and we give the default value to uh, 77, right? Which is equivalent to uh, uh, the default aspect ratio just for the reference this one is 16.9 for YouTube nine. okay then <coughs> we have that here now we can come down and define a uh, our methods that we use in the front end, we call it uh, give a comment here, modify uh, the video track aspect ratio, and then here we add modify uh, video aspect ratio okay that here then now uh, we define now our success as uh, above as what uh, we did here or we can just copy this and modify it we can just copy this one so here we had our constant and then here instead of rate we got 
modify a video track aspect ratio and then here we get uh, video aspect ratio instead and if success here we can just like track a frame so track aspect ratio modify to uh, video aspect ratio is start here and then unable to modify video uh, the track aspect ratio and that's that and then once that one is done now we need to come here and modify our front end we need to modify our front end by setting a new uh, div here is this is for that one now we set that here so here we have a new title and then the label is this one here and then yeah, we attach uh, input here to our um, attributes video aspect uh, ratio that we enter we have used in the logics and uh, here is the button here which is attached to our method that is it and this one is as before to enable when uh, the access is granted otherwise the button will be uh, disabled so once that one is done yeah we go down now and then refresh our code request access so we have uh, our camera here is there but in your browser here you may have a pop-up requesting you to allow or not so this is what we get we attach the video and then here instead of uh, this i put one <laughs> you can see that it's changed and then we can also even decrease it to 0.5 you can see 2.5 here so how uh, our aspect ratio for the video is changing and then we can also bring it to 2.5 you can see how it is changing so yeah that is it and uh, for this uh, video and uh, i think by now you should be able to uh, declare to change as uh, much constraint that you have the concept will always be the same already be the same here we have if you click here and uh, show uh, capabilities we have so many uh, uh, capabilities here that uh, we can change so we can change so many of them so now it's up to you according to your requirements or logics to to do that so in the new video now we'll try to touch another aspect of the web rtc stay tuned bye